Hello everyone. Welcome to the World Cup podcast conducted by the Spotlight Club and the Sports Club. Hello everyone. It's me Aryan Rizal, a member of the D- IT Sports Club. Hi everyone. I'm Ishant Gurung. I am the president of the Sports Club. Hello everyone. I'm Sozin Sharma. I'm the vice president of Music Club. And as you all know, I am Rishabh Varyan, the president of the Spotlight Club. So guys, we'll be talking about uh, 2022 World Cup. Uh, we'll share our insights who will win the World Cup. And uh, we'll talk about the injured players. Now we'll be talking about uh, the 2022 World Cup. Uh, in this podcast, we'll be talking about who will win the World Cup and our insights about the players. And we'll discuss about the 2022 World Cup music compared to other previous World Cups. And we'll also give we'll our about teams to watch out players to watch out. We'll talk about each and individual teams, the probability of qualifying for the next group stages. And we'll talk about 2022 World Cup music compared to previous World Cups. So now Sojanya will be talking about group stages and the team to watch out. So I, for, for me, honestly, I think uh, this time the South American countries are favorites to win, especially yeah, favorites to win are Brazil or Argentina. Because you know, go recent form we have we have seen how they played. I would say France, but uh, I I believe in the World Cup course, but I don't think that will happen to a squad that good. Eh? So mm-hmm. I don't know what do, what do you guys think? I don't think France will uh, qualify uh, because of their record uh, in the UEFA Nations League have be, has been very bad. They've lost a couple of matches, and plus they are missing some really creative players out there, What's such the as right? Pogba. If you see at their midfielders, those midfielders available in the France squad is very limited towards their defensive abilities rather than their creative abilities. They are fantastic forwards such as Benzema. Like, let's talk about Kylian Mbappe. Like, he might be the best player right now, or Erling Haaland. But like, obviously, Haaland. Em- yeah, Arlen, obviously. obviously. My bad. <laughs> but but Mbappe is too good. He can create chances. He can like score goals, he's physical, he's, he is physical, he's very fast and he is everything a player that World Cup demands. So I think France has a better player in paper, but the midfield, midfielders are pretty limiting. So the midfielders won't let them be able to qualify for the round of 16 stages or the knockout mm-hmm. stages. Yeah, I agree with that because France's starting midfielders were Pogba and Kanti and both of them are injured for this World Cup. So. There's a major concern whether France will do good in this World Cup or not. I also agree to the point that uh, uh, World Cup course is real <laughs> and <laughs> and they lack the depth in the midfield. Uh-huh. They, like uh, Varane is also a big miss if he mm-hmm. doesn't make it to the squad. Yeah, For me also the favourites are uh, mainly Argentina because they haven't lost a game since mm-hmm. 2019 semi-final against Brazil. They are 35 games on beaten record. Wow. So uh, they are in very good form and Brazil, they are always in form. And they always start as favourites <coughs> of the World Cup. On paper, like talking about on paper, I remember Portugal squad. On paper, that squad looks on video, but uh, the way they play, <laughs> I, I, I honestly think, I don't, I don't see them doing very well. Like, you yeah, know, yeah. these Me, players, they can always rise to the occasion and start performing like god like players no i i see them calling for qualifying by being second in the group maybe but i don't think they'll top their group especially considering how hard it is and portugal they have they have uh, they have a history of this happening like players not turning up on the yeah. uh, like big stage uh, for example diogo jota sh- would have been a very important player for them considering his form and how good he has been for liverpool and we have seen how, how Ronaldo is finishing as <laughs> he's finishing as declined, every team. Right. Has declined. So, yeah, I don't know. I think Portugal squad uh, lacks synergy, like the player synergy, oh, manager yeah. mm-hmm. player relationship. Speaking of players not turning off, what do you think about England? Oh my oh. god. England. <laughs> like, okay, guys, like, I'll share your story. I met this elderly guy, and he always he told me that England always has this squad to win the World Cup, mm. but they always fail to deliver in every World Cup. So, like, this time, they have a proper squad. Like, as always. Yeah, as always, <laughs> as, as always. <laughs> they, they, like, went to the Euro 2020 finals, and they lost it. They bottled in their own home soil. So but, it was kind of embarrassing. But to be fair to England, it was on in a penalty shootout. So yeah, so anything it, it, can it's, happen. It's pretty yeah, harsh. Shootout, yeah. yeah, it's pretty harsh, yeah. Yeah, uh, But still, uh, I have high hopes for England. I think they'll uh, make it to quarterfinal or semi-final at least. 
and there are other teams as well such as Argentina and Brazil for me Brazil's are the favorite man like if you look at the squad they have got quality all across mm. like especially in attack uh, Brazil especially yeah. in attack mm. like uh, you can see the attack that, like it consists of Neymar Vinicius Anthony Gabriel Rafinha, Rafinha Jesus, Jesus like man these players are like they have this certain skill and flair in them they have this certain samba esque joga bonito yeah joga bonito <laughs> play beautiful <laughs> that is very special beautiful play and i believe like they they have a very strong midfield consisting of Newcastle United's Bruno Guimarães <laughs> who's been playing top notch right now yeah. scoring bangers after bangers Casemiro uh, yeah yeah Casemiro uh, and he was a fan Fred means <laughs> Jolington uh, what do you think about Fred huh? <laughs> Fred. Fred I mean to be fair Fred Fred is if you pair him up with like a decently like CDM. able defensive midfielder yeah. he's pretty good because he does his job up for up front like he's not really known for like playing defense mm. so especially when he's playing in Manchester United he's playing like more of a holding midfielder yeah. I don't think that's a good position for him I mean, he can play there but he should be like more attacking so if he's paired with casemiro like he is in united united haven't had the best form but when he's paired with casemiro i think that's uh, that's a real good partnership in the yeah. field like fred performs best when he's up front like up front in the pitch and intercepting all the opponent's passes so when he has a center cdm like casemiro who can just sit in front of the defenders and block all of the incoming passes Fred will be a good fit. Like it's it's similar to how Kanté and Pogba were yeah. like mm. in the previous France squad. Like in my point of view, the only weak link Brazil has are their full backs. Full backs. Full backs. Uh. Now obviously they've got quality <laughs> in the center center backs. They've got Eder Militao, Thiago Silva, Thiago Silva, Thiago Silva, Silva. Marquinhos. Marquinhos. Like they've got mad experience. Like every player, I guess, except for Marquinhos, have won the Champions League. They those players can withstand <laughs> pressure, intense pressure. Didn't like dirty yeah, <laughs> like if you like travel back in time back in like what 2020 21 real madrid like uh were losing every single game and like they came back in the later stages of the game and all those players helping out that team was brazilian yeah. adam militao played beautifully and, like we can't forget rodrigo's goals against mm. manchester Man city. city and vinicius who's been a crucial link yeah. for real madrid casemiro as well yeah casemiro well. <laughs> yeah casemiro as well so what do you so, think about So I was thinking about something. So, do you think Richardson being out of the <laughs> Brazil squad is a problem for Brazil? No, because no. I I saw a few articles and there were there were things like saying how Richardson is more versatile and like he's played in the Premier League, but considering how inconsistent he is, I I I wanted to bring this up. No, the thing is. The Brazilian manager actually prefers Richarlison as oh, his exactly. striker. Oh, exactly. So that's what I was trying But to say. But talking about versatility and playing in the prem, Gabriel Jesus has yeah, both yeah, of them, exactly. and he's in good form right now. So it won't be a problem for them, I guess. Mm. Who would you start, Alisson or Ederson? Ederson. I I I believe Allison. I believe Ederson. I okay, believe Alisson. Okay, Allison. I have a re- reasoning for this. See, considering how good uh, Brazil's attack is and how good Ederson is at giving the long balls, like his long balls on counters. I think bro- if Brazil plays on counters, they have like. Good pace up front. I think Ederson is good. And like talking about handling and uh, like normal goalkeeping things, I don't think Alice Ederson is that much like behind Alisson in terms of that as well. Like you should consider the fact that Alisson is also good at uh, ball distribution. I guess like he gave an assist to Mo Salah. Salah. It was against Man City. <laughs> But so the thing is, it's uh, Ederson's passes have started a lot of Man City's. No, attack. the thing yeah. is, Ederson works well in Pep's system where all, everything is pass oriented. Oh, yeah, you know? yeah, But yeah, okay. Alisson will work better in Brazil's team. So yeah, probably. Uh, now, now that you say it, because the defenders, let's yeah. be real, are not very good on the yeah. ball, unlike. The defenders at Pep's team, so, so you can't Alisson. compare everything to Man City. Guys, I think we've been talking a lot about Brazil. Let's oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they are the talk about <laughs> let's talk about another team as well. <laughs> so, so let's look at the groups now. Yeah, that's so starting Group A. La. Group A for me, the strongest team has to be Netherlands. Oh, After easy. Netherlands is Senegal, yeah, Qatar and Ecuador. But there, there has always been a case that uh, the home country will always perform yeah. better. Mm-hmm. I guess like only in 2010 the home country did not uh, surpass the group stage but else in every world cup the home country the host nation has always uh, qualified for the knockout stages yeah. so what do you think about this year uh honestly being very honest i don't see qatar qualifying from this group uh just because of ecuador usually qualifies 
and this time Ecuador has a few good players in uh, exactly like, like uh, Brighton's two players Moses Caicedo and uh, S2P they've been playing really well mm. so honestly I feel like Qatar will be the bottom two and, team in this and talk, uh, talking about uh, other teams they can compete with I don't think they can like compete with Netherlands considering how good Maybe they they can compete, but it's it's gonna be a real tough matchup. And Senegal have been on real good form. Senegal are the dark horses of this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah for, for sure. Think, exactly. yeah, for Especially the Netherlands because they have a good core, like which comprises both of young players as well as experienced yeah, yeah, exactly. players. Uh, mm. So if they get the mixer right, then Netherlands are a team to watch out for. Yeah, Netherlands have good defense defense as well. Yeah, I guess Netherlands will be qualifying. The Netherlands, I think they will finish yeah. top, top of this group. Yeah. 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 And who will be the second? Who do you think? Huh? I think Senegal or Senegal. 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 Yeah, yeah I, I, I say Senegal. It will be a close call between Ecuador and Senegal, yeah. but I think Senegal will take it. But if Qatar make it, then... Yeah. <laughs> it we'll see it, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, guys, let's talk about Group B. Mm-hmm. Group consists of England, Iran, USA and Wales. I just want to see Iran versus USA. <laughs> Considering <laughs> their <laughs> histories. <laughs> now this is match. This is the match I've been waiting for ages. Uh, this is kind of like low-key matches. Match where like they don't have quality players, but at the same time like the history because I of the history and all that USA stuff. Has USA has a few quite like a few quality players. players like, yeah, right? they've uh, got Pulisic quality players. Considered but, like, as LeBron the LeBron James, James of football. <laughs> as in. Yeah, like they've got decent players, but like not too good. No, not too good enough. Yeah. And US I think has not been performing up to their quality yeah. in recent times. But, but this is the golden era for USA now, considering uh, they have a yeah. lot of young players, is twenty or twenty one. So USA might mm. take the second place. This group is very interesting considering the fact uh, Iran versus USA, England versus USA, football uh. versus soccer, yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> Wales could be a surprise package with Gareth Bale in it. Daniel that James. James, James, yeah. Daniel James. But Daniel James. <laughs> maybe maybe he'll perform at the World yeah. Cup. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I think this he group performed very pre- well in Euro Cup. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah. He did, yeah. yeah. I think uh, this group will be quite competitive. Like, I think England... England are... We expect England to win mo- all of their games. Like, being honest. Yeah. Knowing how England's squad is. But I think the other three teams, the playing each other will be, like, quite tough games. Yeah. I don't think Iran... Iran... Yeah, Iran and USA... Iran and Wales could be USA and Wales will be a good game. I well. honestly mm-hmm. have faith on USA. Like obviously, yeah, looking I, on paper, England will be the top top place team. I think. I, I, yeah, I yeah. also think USA. I feel will like be USA mm-hmm. might become second because they have some really good players like Pulisic, uh, mm-hmm. that Dortmund's and player, cool. Cam. Used to So it's best. They have a lot of good players. So also they have Tyler Adams, who is the starting CDM of Leeds right now. So yeah, they have a really good core right now. So USA, I feel like USA will be the second place team in this stage, in this group. So let's talk about Group C. This group consists of our World Cup favorites: Argentina, Saudi Arabia, Mexico, and Poland. So what do you think about Argentina? Like like straight off the bat, I think Argentina will top this group <laughs> yeah, for sure, possibly. for sure. And I think it's between. Mexico. And I, I I can't say really say between honestly between Saudi Arabia and Poland like. Who is the no, better no, no. team? Probably Mexico will be the second of the group, but between those t- two, who do you think is the better team? Between? Uh, Saudi Sa- Sa- Arabia and Poland. I want obviously, to see that obviously, obviously, Poland, obviously, obviously, no, Poland, yeah. Poland always bottles it in the big competitions. They don't yeah. really play well. <laughs> I honestly think for the second place, this is a toss-up between Mexico and Poland. Poland because yeah. Poland for the sole matter, like Le- Lewandowski, Lewandowski, right? Lewandowski. And Mexico, they have some players who re- perform really good at the. But if you if you've seen Poland's team, every every time they play, and if Lewandowski is like marked closely, they usually end up like because they they used to play Piotek, but I mean Piotek, yeah, he's not mm-hmm. bad. He's not he's not he's not what he used to be yeah. like. When he, Poland, when he first came on the scene. Poland also have some good players. Like uh, their goalkeeper is quite good. Ah, Cezny. yeah, Cezny. 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 pretty good. Yeah. Zelensky. Yeah, Zielinski is also ah, Zielinski, I forgot about yeah, him. Mexico, yeah, on the other hand, I feel like Mexico will be second because for the one matter, one reason is Ochoa, the oh, keeper. Yeah. He becomes yeah. a mixer of prime, not a buffo than every single good oh, keeper. Mexico, right I, I really want to see Lozano, man. Yeah, Lozano. Oh, I like Lozano. Lozano. On the counter. Mm. Yeah. Really good player. Yeah, I think maybe it's, you know, like you said, maybe between Portugal and Mexico. But I, I Poland think... Poland and Mexico. Eh, Poland Poland sorry, Poland and Mexico. Mexico. I honestly think Mexico yeah. is going to be... I do agree with Mexico. That. I do agree. 
So we'll be talking about the group D, which consists of France, Australia, <laughs> Denmark, and Tunisia. Like honestly, guys, I know a lot about France except that about Australia, Denmark, and Tunisia. I, I have no clue. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. The last time I, the last player I remember Australia is uh, Tim Kale. Tim Kale. Tim Kale. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Tim Kale. <laughs> Yeah. No, you might remember something about Denmark as well. Like yeah, they Ericsson, have a good Denmark, goal, right? Yeah. Denmark have a pretty yeah. good. Denmark team. have a pretty good. Team. Ericsson yeah. is playing really nice now, right? Right now. Uh. Is Odegaard they from Denmark as well? No, Norway, no, no, Norway, no, no, Norway, Norway. Norway. But Denmark as a group of them really yeah. well yeah. in uh, international like we, competition. We, yeah. So yeah. that in the Euros, in Euros. Yeah, Euros. Yeah. they're pretty yeah. good in the Euros. They have uh, Christensen in defense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Their midfield also is also stacked. And they are pretty good attackers, including yeah. Yusuf Paulson. Yusuf Paulson, Paulson, Paulson is a yeah. physical yeah. strength. They have a young yeah. forward. Mikkel Damsgaard. Yeah, oh, Damsgaard. Yeah. 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 Really he also played really yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. free kick, man. I remember wow. that free kick. Good free kick. And with Ericsson supplying the good through balls and all the passes through the attackers, this team will make uh, it as I wa- second I want to bring up something now. So, <laughs> the World Cup cards. <laughs> I don't think... Nah. I don't think... <laughs> I think it's going to be broken yeah. this time. Because I don't see... I don't see France... Getting knocked out of this group, yeah. Yeah. it's a pretty easy group for them, yeah. considering how good their team is. Regardless of the group, France have a really good team. Whatever you France say, are right? France are favorites to win, yeah. like being yeah, really honest, after yeah. Argentina and Brazil. Yeah. Yeah. Just look at the team. Like <coughs> we are saying that the mid- uh, midfield is injury prone, and most of the players are injured, like their previous players. But still, they have Chuameni and Kamavinga and. Uh, mm, Fekir, Fekir. Fekir. Fekir, yeah. They have many good players. They have in amazing attack, like. Yeah. like you don't need to talk about the attack defense. That's <laughs> top notch. They, their attacks are one of the best players yeah. we've ever seen. Mm. Yeah, evaluating, yeah, evaluating this group, I think I'll take my words back. I think France will qualify. Mm. And the <laughs> second place team is Denmark. Denmark. Yeah. Denmark. Yeah. Denmark. Denmark. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, what do you think about group E? Really oh, tough group. Th- this group is pretty interesting. I feel really bad for Japan. Like considering they've got really good team. Every World Cup, like they've got like above average team. And Japan seems to surprise a lot of teams in the World Cup. But like this time, they're like really unfortunate to be in this group. Yeah. And Group B consists of Spain, Costa Rica, Germany and Japan. I think this group is very obvious. But I think it, it's, go- it's going to be a tough battle between who is going to go to the first, no, either Spain or Germany. Who do you think will be the first in this I group? I personally think Germany. I, I feel like think Spain Germany. is going to take this one. I think Spain. Oh? Yeah. I, I yeah, think Spain. Germany. I don't know, man. Yeah. Like Germany's defense is very like wacky. Yeah, Germany has not been performing so well right now, you know? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, their team is... Both of the teams always look good on paper, right? Uh, yeah, Germany's, to, Germany's yeah. attack looks insane on paper. Mm. Yeah. But Liverpool. without Werner, they are but, missing uh, the... They, they're, they're, they're missing a striker, yeah. but... Havertz can play that role. Havertz can play that role. Na- there's Nabry. Yeah, Nabry. He, 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 probably he play on the wing. Sane, 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 Sane exactly. Sane. They've got good defensive... Like, good pace midfield. and good... Uh, yeah. Good defensive midfield. Kimmich and Goretzka. Yeah. Kimmich and Goretzka. Goretzka. Yeah. One of the most consistent yeah. players over the, how many years we've Honestly, seen. Honestly, on defensively paper, they are really solid. On paper, Germany's team looks better, but yeah. I feel like Spain will still be the Top. first yeah. place team. Mm, okay. So what, so, what do you think about Group F? It's like quite a unique group. Like we've got Belgium. We've got. Canada as well. They've been performing really good. Really good. I, I guess like they they topped their North American qualifiers. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Like they Jonathan David and Alex David 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 performing David really well. Yeah. Yeah. We got Morocco as well and Croatia. Croatia. Croatia is a really good team. Is he, uh, is Yeah. Yeah. He's 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 it's funny how like Belgium used to be like considered the best team. Yeah, yeah. because now we're not even talking bringing it up in the conversation of like favorites. That was because uh, in the previous World Cups, all of their players were in the prime, like, right. in their prime, including exactly. Right. Hazard, yeah. Eden Hazard, right? Mm. So, but now, right now I think Belgium's main players have dipped in form, uh-huh. like Lukaku, Hazard, Hazard brothers. They have dipped. Both, both of them have dipped. Corasco is not. Corasco is also not. Oh, yeah, he's not. Yeah. But they to be fair, uh, Lukaku always performs Luka. good on international season. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that is true. Guys, yeah. like, do you think like uh, Eden Hazard is going to be replaced by Trossard? Yeah. He's been playing. Yeah, yeah. Trossard has yeah, been Trossard amazing. Is, yeah. If I was the manager, I would. Do I, that. I, I would do yeah, it as well because yeah. Yeah. how good Trossard has been. He like against even like really strong opposition. Mm. Like remember how good he was against Liverpool as well. Scoring yeah. against City. City. Yeah. Scoring yeah. against City. Yeah. 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 Honestly, Belgium still have a pretty good team. Yeah. Yeah. They have one of the best midfielders in the world in the Kevin, form of Kevin, Kevin De Bruyne, right? Yeah. 
क्रोएशिया इज गोइंग टॉप द ग्रुप एंड इन सेकेंड प्लेस I, I still, feel like I the still, star yeah, yeah, power of Belgium yeah. will. I still think Belgium will yeah. top the group. Belgium will like top. Maybe the second place between Canada and Croatia. Croatia. No, no, no. I think Croatia, Croatia is going to take the yeah. second place, but Belgium is going to be the first place. I think Canada Just might look surprise. Look at Croatia's team. Uh, might, might, uh, look at yeah, Croatia's yeah. team. They still have a. Pre, uh, they, 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 they still have most of the players who yeah. played well in the last World Cup. Yeah. So. Now Perisic has turned into a wing back. Exactly. And Modric, like he hasn't shown, he's 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 pretty good still. They have one of the best young defenders, Guardiola. Um, yeah, mm. Guardiola. Yeah. Yeah. So, guys, what do you think about Group G? <laughs> Group G, I think <laughs> it's obvious, right? Yeah. yeah. Brazil. It should be obvious. Group. I mean, actually, like, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, maybe Switzerland in second. Yeah, Brazil. Brazil to top the group. Brazil obviously. will Brazil top, the to group, top the group surely. Because yeah, surely. Oh, it's yeah, it's easy oppositions for Brazil. But it's But tricky with Serbia, you know, Mitrovic, Lukasovic. Yeah. They are Strong, they played really strikers, well in yeah. qualifiers. Mm. Mm. Almost knocked out. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. Mitrovic has been injury prone lately, and I feel like that might be a factor because he has not played properly for Fulham in the last ten matches. You know, mm. yeah. on yeah. and off he has been playing one match and then again being injured. So, so if there he's the target man, and if he's out for the World Cup, then Serbia is in trouble. Uh, what about Switzerland? Like the fun fact about Switzerland is, I guess, like they've been qualifying for the knockout stages for the past couple of World Cups. Oh, okay. They've always been, they always perform good in the World Cup, but they never get past to yeah. the quarter final or the round of a eh, quarter quarter final or the semi final stages. Yeah. I think they might be the second place in this group because of the experience. They've got Alaba, they got Shakiri. I don't know about oh, who, the other players. Is, is he still playing? Alaba, Alaba is Switzerland. Alaba, I, no, no, Alaba, Alaba Austria. 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 Not Alaba. They have got Jan Sommer in the. Jan Sommer is good. He's a really good player. Oh, Switzerland beat France in eh, the last time World Cup. Yeah, because of uh, Jan Sommer. Uh, Jan Sommer. Jan Sommer is good. Like uh, uh, penalty shootouts, man. <laughs> that guy is just <laughs> yeah. insane. Yeah. They have got Manuel Akanji in defense. Akanji and they have got Jaka. Jaka was playing really well right now. Really well now. Yeah, I don't know. Hopefully he doesn't get a red card for the World Cup. No, he has come to this race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was quite quite surprised. Arsenal yeah. were winning two nil and Jaka had no yellow cards. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, what, what about Cameroon? About? Cameroon. Cameroon. I'll be honest with you. I haven't heard about Cameroon since yeah. Samuel Eto'o. Same, yeah, same. same. <laughs> I know a player, Toko Ekambi. If you guys know about Toko him, Toko Ekambi. He's a really good winger yeah. in the league, but I have uh, no, I, I, I have I no idea. I think one winger is <laughs> enough to. Yeah. Help them out the group stage. So the final group, group H, group H the Portu- group of death. Mm. Mm. Wow, <laughs> Portugal, Ghana, Korea, Uruguay. 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 So In my point of view, Uruguay is really good as well. They've got uh, like Darwin really Nunes. yeah performing players such as Valverde. Darwin Nunes. Man, I don't know, man, I don't know, Valverde. guys. I don't know about Darwin Nunes. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> this guy, this guy. He's <laughs> great at football, no? Either he knows how to play football, or either he does like, not know how to play football. He's the type who likes to like score two goals and get a red card in the same <laughs> oh, game. Oh yeah. Like, <laughs> Uruguay has one of the best midfielders yeah. in the world right Fede now. Fede uh, Fede Valverde Fede is playing out that of his mind right now. That guy's short power is insane. Yeah. Damn. Korea. And I guess Cavani will still play as striker for Uruguay, right? Cavani. Maybe. Yeah. Cavani is playing decently in Val Valencia right now. Oh, I haven't seen hard much. Yeah, he has though. been scoring few goals. What about Suarez? No, Suarez. he has retired. I guess. I, I have no, yeah. no, no, no. I, I guess he's I playing in South American yeah. league. Yeah, he's he's, uh, he's playing yeah. in a different league. I, I'm not. I'm not sure if he quite like retired from international football. Though. Did he? So what do you I think? Don't think hey, so. Guys, what do you this think? This might about be his last World Cup. This, this yeah. might be his last. What do you think about Korea? Son is, Son is injured. injured. They, they're yeah. missing yeah. Son. They're best player. They're best player. But Wang Yi Chan can still carry them to the. <laughs> I I don't think Wang Yi Chan is good enough to. <laughs> he is pretty good, but yeah. a striker alone, I don't think that's. Good. I mean, because I personally think for Korea, Son is like uh, the Everything. the player who gives uh, the whole team confidence, mm. because like how well he's known, like considered one of the best uh, 
Asian footballer. Yeah, 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 if not, yeah. he's the best Asian, Asian footballer. Yeah, I think yeah. he's the best uh, Asian footballer. Just behind Zee Soon Park, obviously. Uh, <laughs> guys, <laughs> we've been missing out Portugal. Like, they've got really good squad, mm. good yeah. depth, yeah. but I don't know, man. On paper, they, they, their squad looks amazing. Mm-hmm. We talked about Brazil. Like, we mm. said that Brazil have a weakness in uh, fullbacks, right? Mm. Portugal has no such weaknesses mm. on paper. Yeah. Nuno Mendes, Jao Cancelo. Like yeah, they have no backs. weaknesses. Yeah, exactly. Diego, 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 Diego Dalo. Yeah, I know, right? Mm. He's playing so well. Yeah. Yeah. They have good good defenders, yeah. good attack, good, good midfield, midfield, good keeper. Midfield. Jose Sa. Yeah, mm. exactly. So I guess in but Group H... Uh, if, if, if like players like Bruno... Mm. And yeah. uh, but the thing Marnado. is, Bruno Rafael and Ronaldo, yeah. Rafael 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 you will be a super sub though, not a starter, I guess. I don't know much about Ghana. <laughs> I got no clue. <laughs> but still... Jian. Yeah, Jian. yeah, that was that party. Oh, yeah. Party. 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 Oh, I guess, like, Inya, Inyaki Williams has, like, converted yeah. his uh, nationality to Ghana or something else. Oh. Yeah, he used oh. to be Spanish. Yeah, yeah I knew he used to be Spanish. Uh, that means this is a team that two or three players have converted their mm. nationality uh, to Ghana. Mm. Mm. I don't know who the other players are, but there are mm, more there are than Inyaki Williams. There are a few Yes. So who do you think will top this group? Obviously, Portugal. Portugal. Yeah. Yeah, Portugal. Portugal. Mm-hmm. Who do you think will be the second? I see Uruguay. 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 Same, same, same. Yeah. Maybe if no, no, no. Uruguay, Uruguay, no. They have a really good squad. No, like, what, what I'm trying to say is maybe if Korea had no, I'm not, nah, not nah. really. Korea, Even if they had Son, it would be yeah, a tough it, call yeah, for yeah. them. Because, because they we've seen a, how they've played in the yeah. last. And one cup. player is not enough to carry a team. Like sometimes it's enough, but. In mm. most of the cases, a single player can't do it all for the team, you know. You guys actually break so, it. So, let's move on to the World Cup music. The most important <laughs> part. The most important part. I think we've all heard the music. What do you guys think? Like, just your personal opinions. I guess the music is very forgettable. Uh, if you talk about 2010 World Cup and 2014 World Cup, the music was absolute bangers, you know. Different I guess every people know about Waka Waka, Waving Flag, you know. Uh, I guess few people know about 2014 music. No, I think I think it's quite popular. Like, yeah, ole, 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 ole. La, la, la. like not as popular as Waka Waka. But and still, yeah. they were top tier songs. You know? Yeah, so still, still, yeah. My my problem with the songs this time is like it doesn't feel like it's for football. Like yeah. Yeah. it feels like it's just a pop song or a, like. Uh, a song that's out there so uh, the song I, I the first one I want to talk about is the one uh, light, was it Light of the Sky? Light of the Sky yeah so I think that song like I'm gonna say it in the like most pop culture that song is like absolute mid what you call mid it has it, it, it has no like th- things that I would remember I heard it like two times I still can't sing the chorus mm. so I think that's saying something about the song like I like how they have they have brought artists from like different backgrounds to make the song. That's quite good. But the song should sonically sound good. Like waving for people who didn't even watch the World Cup, they remember waving flag yeah. and waka waka. So yeah. that's how a song should be, in my personal opinion. It just I just listened to the Lil Yachty's Lil, 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 Lil Baby. Lil Baby. Lil Baby. I don't even know his name. Okay, it's that <laughs> forgettable. Yeah. Yeah. It's it seemed like it was a more of a marketing campaign to Budweiser mm-hmm. rather than a proper yeah. World Cup song. Yeah. It was. L- Literally like an advertisement of Bird like, Honestly, uninspired drums, very basic trap beat drums. Every rap song ever. Every rap song ever. <laughs> and uh, maybe Poland have a good song this year with I Took the Walk to Poland with Lil nice, nice. <laughs> <laughs> That is a far better song. Yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe this, they can sing that in the stadiums. Speed <laughs> you know, has come out of the box. <laughs> oh, <laughs> delivering <laughs> some good content. Bro, speed, speed like actually real, being really honest with how speed is with Portugal I think it, it will make like honestly make like increase yeah. American audience in my opinion oh. because how he's been with football mm. Sui <laughs> <laughs> exactly like yeah, have, you, have you seen the clip of him doing the Ronaldo celebration like in front of like exactly. a whole stadium the whole stadium no. like joined him That that's how much influence he has inside men's heritage yeah exactly yeah. but the thing is these two songs let's get back to these two uh. songs they are nowhere near the quality of the songs that should be of the World Cup, you know? Yeah, yeah honestly, they feel rushed. Yeah. Like, they just put it out there yeah. because they wanted a song. 
like as you mentioned uh, gathering people from all different backgrounds was a good idea but its implementation failed really badly you know yeah exactly like the song is not catchy it does not represent football in any way mm-hmm. it's just a bunch of singers coming together and writing a random song you know like it's, it's just a song not not an anthem yeah. exactly yeah. like it it sounds like something i would hear out of like a collaborative project from different artists who are not involved with the world cup so i'm not saying it's a bad song i'm just saying it's not fit for the world cup Like you know, all the all these songs, all these World Cup songs, they will be played a lot during the World Cup. You know, mm-hmm. so as you guys mentioned, the Waka Waka and Waving Flag, even if they were played like a hundred times, I would never get bored of it. Like you, you know? can you can play yeah. Waving Flag right now, yeah. and I would be jamming. Yeah. Would That's be jamming how how good of a song that is. Yeah. But if you play these songs more than twice or thrice, then I'm gonna uh, mute like, the screen right now. Like but. okay, I I I actually have a really bad. Uh, opinion about i don't really listen to pop so i thought maybe it was just me but i asked all the people around me like i even asked people who like don't really uh, watch football like just watch the world cup they also s- don't seem to like the song so with that saying something about it yeah and i heard rumors of bts bringing a song to the world cup is um, it true or not no if no, if no, it, no clue no clue, no clue. No clue. <laughs> Hey, I heard BTS. Uh, they were doing something like a military break two years. Like they have to do mandatory military in the in Korea. Yeah. Like no Son offense. was exempt from it. No uh, offense, but that song would be far more catchy than the current. Song <laughs> I think uh, being being really honest, yeah. I think if BTS actually did a song, yeah, it would be really catchy. Uh, it would be really catchy. Yeah. You, it may not be the best, but <laughs> yeah. how, their, yes. how their reputation is, you would be singing it like <laughs> it would at least be an anthem. Uh, exactly, yeah. exactly. I guess like more women viewer would be attracted towards football as well. Uh. So uh, they've got a good opportunity with how big BTS is. Eh? Yeah, that would that would uh, be. Let, let's a let's see. Let's see. You want to make there. a World Cup song now? So the you're the producer, <laughs> enough. You have to pick three artists. Let's just assume three artists. Who who would you pick in your opinion? I pick Ghana. Ghana. <laughs> I Ghana. think Future and Young Thug. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, honestly, I would go for the pop side rather than the rap uh, side. Yeah, first pa, first pa, choice would be Dua Lipa. Yeah, I was thinking yeah. Dua Lipa. Yeah, yeah. How how influential yeah. she? I think one kiss song was so like it, it was basically it an anthem. Like, she was more for time in the UEFA finals as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Dua Lipa would be a really good choice for these songs. Another, I I think um, Adele. You, you can't go wrong. <laughs> Adele, I don't know. I think you can't go wrong with Pitbull. Mm, I, th- yeah. I guess you can bring him back one more time because. Yeah. Honestly, and with the of the uh, looking at the state of these songs, you can <laughs> okay. And Sakira needs to make a comeback. <laughs> yeah, everyone was watching. Everyone was waiting for yeah. it. Who, who do you else think like uh, who has not been been involved with the World Cup songs would actually do pretty well in these circumstances? Obviously, Young Thug. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly think Justin Bieber and. <laughs> I think Why? if he was involved, I I, yeah, I think he would do pretty good. With how big he is in pop, Charlie, right? mm. Charlie Puth as well. Uh, yeah, I th- I think, but. Maybe more uh, European singers as well. Oh, the the guy, the Central Sea guy. Central Sea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need that guy, man. Uh, yeah, but hopefully they release another song. I mean, like I don't see that happening. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I heard like the other theme song which plays in the background, uh, the Qatar song. That that yeah, that's better. better. That's quite nice. Yeah. I think that that sounded pretty good. Obviously, I don't. But know. regardless of how the song sounds. We have to get used to it because obviously the World Cup is coming and maybe like I, I I'm still giving basically. these songs benefit of the doubt by saying maybe if I hear them like yeah repeatedly More times, maybe yeah. maybe I like it but let's see I don't see it happening we might like it maybe who knows maybe it would be wrong choice? No, I think I think I, I have really good song choice. Yeah, have you guys ever considered the fact that like when you listen to the old song, like when you were a kid and when you listened Waka Waka for the first time, you were like this song bangs, you know, this song bangs real hard. But like when I was you, dancing yeah, like they, when you <laughs> listen to this year's World Cup song and you were like yeah. oh ho, right, no, and all that stuff. Hey. Like, uh, I I like, heard I heard some I played it like uh, like few hours ago. I we were with my friends. I heard someone say you talk and I had it. <laughs> Like even if you play World Cup 2014 song, like there is a very unique beat to it, yeah. very catchy, you know. Like yes, every, Brazilian they, they, vibes. Brazilian yeah, vibes. Everyone can sing along, and this song, like this year's song, does not have that yeah. vibe. Yeah, well, let's see. Maybe oh, we ranted a lot about yeah. the songs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess that's it for us today. Mm. Yeah. So we'll be back with another part of this podcast.
when the group stages are over so stay tuned hopefully you are not wrong thank hopefully. you hopefully thank you <laughs> we will not be wrong hello guys